Hello everyone. Here is another video on how to water seal your body caps for a Canon DSLR. I already have a video out for water sealing, sealing the body cap, but uh, that one is uh, for light weather sealing and uh, it doesn't necessarily provide the uh, heavy duty kind of uh, waterproofness as this one will. So this one, if you're using a heavily sealed camera such as the 1D or 1DS or 1DX or 5D or anything like that, this will help you a lot. So let's get right to it. Here is the body cap, the regular one, no rubber rim as you can see. And here is one that's already sealed. As you can see, we put a, uh, we put a rubber seal in there and uh, in a bit I'm going to show you how to do that. And uh, this one, when pressed into the camera, you can see how th you can see how the camera uh, lens mount will line up to the outer rim. Yet the uh, rubber band on the inside sticks out a little. So the rubber band's actually going to get pressed, uh, therefore sealing the uh, sealing the lens mount. And once it gets pressed in, of course you screw it in, sealed. So that's that. Uh, let's get right to it. Here's something. Uh, here's a couple things you'll need for. Uh, Oh, making the body cap, you're going to need a very sharp knife. And you're also going to need this. Let's get right to it. So here we have regular rubber band, nothing special. Uh, now, the rubber band, however, does have to be a certain length and a certain width. So in our case, this is actually exactly 6 millimeters. Uh, six millimeters uh, in width so as you can see here let's see if it will focus yep and there you go six millimeters on the dot and uh, in terms of length unstretched this goes for about uh, let's see right here Whoop, that's inches this is very hard Well, we'll just say it goes for about seven seven point five centimeters. Uh, anything less should be good, also, because uh, these are obviously expandable. Uh, anything larger than uh, eight millimeters probably won't fit, because I have one right here, and this one is actually a little too large. And uh, well, when it's in there, it doesn't doesn't actually stretch around. It's more or less just sitting there and not doing anything. So of course, we can't use ones that are too large. So uh, here here we have the rubber band and. Uh, Another, uh, one of the things you'll notice with the body cap is that, here we'll just get some light right around here, and there we go. You'll see that around the rim, this is all this is all very deep, all very deep, all the way till this point, when there's a, when there's a little uh, mm, a plastic block in there, which is there it's for, the, uh, for them to drill in this hole. Now, which, what we have to do is actually cut cut a little ridge inside the rubber band so that when it fits over it will actually fit over it will actually fit over uh, this spot just fine so uh, let's get right to it and do it right now I'm just gonna get a sticky pad so we can cut it there we go so uh, choose a spot any spot make it about uh, we, we can make it about a centimeter wide uh, doesn't have to be a centimeter wide. I mean, the thing right about here is not is, is not uh, nearly a centimeter. I guess half a centimeter works too. So uh, we're gonna get to this and let's cut it now. Make a cut on the inside, so somewhere down the middle first. So make a cut like that, and uh, cut it a few times to make sure that it goes through. Be careful not to cut your fingers. Do the slow. Don't don't go too fast. If you go too fast, things start to go wrong. And there you go. So that's the first cut, right down the middle, as you can see right here. And then, just uh, cut another... Uh, take, take another cut towards the edge, like so. And you will see that it's got a little cut in it. Try to, You can try to pull that apart now, and it should actually pull right apart like that, because it's already got the cut in it. Be careful you don't stretch like this. Because if you do, the cuts might uh, expand in a way you don't want it to, such as right through here, and therefore breaking the rubber band. So be careful not to do that. Right about here, we will. Oh, that doesn't look that doesn't look very well cut. Oh well, we'll just uh, you you can do this uh, a few more times just to make sure it breaks all the way through. And there we go. There we go. I can actually feel that going through. Okay, 
So that's that. You can see that this is now cut. Pull this side, and there you go. Now we have to. We also have to cut the last side. We're not just gonna rip it out, unfortunately. So here we go, and uh, do the last cut. So I finished my cut right about here. I'm just gonna take an outward cut. Be very careful here. Press down both sides because that piece. So we don't want that piece hanging loose there. So there we go. Take a very firm cut down, and there we go. Maybe do it a couple more times just so that it actually goes through, and there we go. Hope I didn't wreck my uh, sticky notes pad. And there we go. So we're out with this little piece right about here. This is useless, goes in the garbage. Okay, and there is your completed rubber band. And our body cap is right here. We are going to put this in. Now before we do that, I'm going to take my knife away in case I cut myself. There we go. And ridge side downwards. And also make sure that you face the face the cut right where that little piece of plastic is. Uh, just, there you go, just so you get an idea. And uh, for easy reference, this this is just exactly where the dot is, right on the back. There it is. So let's do this. Uh, now put this side down first. Well, I'll do it backwards so everyone see it. Uh, there we go. And ridge part. Okay, light that way. There we go. And like this, rich side matches up, matches up. Okay, and so make make sure that stays there. Just make sure that it stretches all the way around, like so. And now this is when your tweezers come in. You you just you're just gonna take your tweezers, pull the sides, and just make sure that they all s actually sits inside, like so. There you go, and that's all inside. So uh, that was a uh, handy dandy. Um, that was all handy dandy. Make sure you push this just a little over there. So as you can see right now, this is a little bit misaligned. Can you see it? No, not really. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now you can see this. It, this is the uh, left left edge is actually sitting right against the uh, plastic part. So I'm gonna shift this over a little. And uh, oops, the way I do that here is actually just. Taking the rubber band and just pushing it to the and pushing it counterclockwise, and as you can see, as I'm pushing it counterclockwise, the rubber rubber ring moved a little bit, and now this is sitting somewhere in the middle, and that's perfect. Okay, so that's that's that. The uh, assembly part is uh, pretty much complete. Make sure every make sure every side sits right down on the uh, bottom. So there we go. Just gonna make a final push, and there we go. Now to see if this works or not, we're gonna take the lens cap. And uh, let's get it matched up. There we go. And we're gonna push it like this. Now, well, now on the correct model, you should have a little bit of ridge. Uh, and ridge. You should have a little bit of spacing right about here. You see how the two pieces aren't exactly close together. And when you push down, it should click. So in this case, ours click. That's great. That means you've done a good job. And now, let, let's just pretend that the uh, lens cap is a is a body for a second here. We're just gonna push down and turn. And there you go. Completed body cap. I'm pretty sure this is waterproof. At least it feels like it. It's very squishy when you push it down and release it. Uh, much more so than the uh, light duty weather seal cap in the other video that I've made. If you guys want to check that out, if you're shooting a rebel or something like that and you don't require heavy sealing, you could check that one out too. That's It's a pretty cool video. So. That's that. Uh, we're very well sealed, and now I'm going to demonstrate that on a real Canon 7D body. So, right about here, I have my body. I'm just going to cap this. I'm going to have to take off my 70-200 uh, f4L lens. And there's the body. So there's the body. Oh my, that's massive. That is very massive. So, I'm taking the body right about here. Can we see that? No, we cannot. Turn it up a bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, gee, I'm getting so much dust into my body. Oh, well. Points fit. Points fit. Click down. Clicks. Flat. And screw it in. There we go. Cheerio. Very, very well sealed. This thing's not really going anywhere. It's not going to unturn itself magically. Very solid seal. Feels solid. Fits in great. No problems at all. So there you go. Heavy duty sealed body cap for Canon. That's a really cool thing I did at the top there. Thanks for watching, guys.